the discovery of America. In the 15th century, people thought the seas were filled with monsters that could swallow ships whole. And sirens that place sailors under a spell with their songs to make them wreck their ships against the rocks. They thought the world was flat and that the seas ended in a great abyss. But the sailor Christopher Columbus didn't believe the flat earth idea or in monsters. He dreamed of reaching India by crossing the Atlantic Ocean. He was convinced that by going this way, the journey would be shorter than sailing round Africa. Columbus presented his idea to the King of Portugal, but he wasn't very taken with the idea. <laughs> so Columbus then went to the Spanish kings to show them his plans. Ferdinand and Queen Isabella decided to support Columbus's expedition. In 1492, he left Spain in three ships, the Santa Maria, the Pinta, and the Niña. He took with him a modern navigation instrument which told him where he was by looking at the sun and the stars, the sextant. Two hard months crossing the ocean went by. The food was on the point of running out, and many sailors were falling ill. <sighs> Until one day, they spotted land. Columbus thought he had arrived in India, and so he called the people in these lands Indians. But Columbus had arrived in a new world, America. The indigenous people were very friendly towards Columbus. It was a meeting of different cultures. Columbus didn't know it at the time, but it was actually a meeting between two different worlds. Years passed and nobody realised the truth of this great discovery, until the Italian Americo Vespuccio worked it out while he was drawing the first maps of the new world. That's why America gets its name from America Vespuccia. If Columbus had known what he'd found, who knows what America would be called today? Mm -hmm.